from Heart of Europe debating tournament. It's a great pleasure to welcome Dan, a judge at the Heart of Europe debating tournament. Dan, tell us something about yourself. Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, uh, like you said, I'm from Montreal. I am a um, coach of my team. I see. Because uh, actually I just started helping them this year mm -hmm. and they have a real coach who actually knows about debate. Uh, so f this has been a great learning experience for me. Um, I got to watch and judge a bunch of rounds and see teams from all over the world and different perspectives and different styles. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's been a, a wonderful and very enriching experience for me. So uh, you said you're a coach. Yeah. W what, does, what does that mean? You, you came here with a Canadian team? Yeah. Uh, or more teams? I came here with one Canadian team. It's, uh, it's our team from, from our school in Montreal. What are they called? It's called Selwyn House. Uh, so they're the team that's uh, Selwyn A. A. Yeah. So they Canadian made it to team. the semifinal. They're in the semifinal. Uh, Very not good. Gonna lie, I'm, I'm just I'm just sitting here nervous a little bit thinking <laughs> about that. But uh, yeah, I say I'm a coach because they have an actual coach at school who has uh, debated himself and um, and he has taught debating for years. And right. then there's another university student at home who helps out with the team, and she's fantastic as well. And she's given them a lot of advice and support. And um, I think because the debating is, is growing in popularity right. in, uh, in our school and in Montreal, they just needed an extra body, and uh, I'm a body. Somebody so, to keep the fire burning. Yeah, well, just an extra person to help out. So right. I was happy to do it, and, and I just started learning with the team. And you are a teacher? Yeah, I'm a math teacher at their school. A math teacher? Yeah. So you don't get to debate very much? Or nope, do I do not. Uh, things are usually pretty black and white in my world. <laughs> uh, so, that, so another reason Clear that, yeah, that this has been a really cool experience for me. And uh, how do you feel about uh, all modes and Heart of Europe debating tournament? Have you had uh, experience with any other debating tournaments? Uh, we, we've done some little tournaments at home that are usually uh, university tournaments. This is my first international mm -hmm. tournament. Uh, Czech Republic has been amazing. Olmots has been a very cool and welcoming Good city. Good pronunciation. I Thanks, I've been working on it. I appreciate it. Um, I think it was very cool that uh, the tournament brought us around and did some, some organized tours and uh, Yeah, I have, I have nothing bad to say about it. So, uh, are you going to come back again next year? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, if we have a team that's interested. I think uh, we came here in the first place because our, <coughs> our team, our boys, were interested in it. They found it. They did the research. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to another team. And if they're interested, I'd be happy to come back. See, yeah. that's very important. Come yeah. back. <laughs> so, maybe next year we'll see more teams from Canada. It'd be, uh, yeah, if you guys want. I mean, I think, I think we'd be lucky to come back here. It's, it's a great experience. Well, Dan, thank you very much yeah. for this great interview. It was a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> like and I hope to see you next year. Yeah, thanks. And enjoy a couple of days uh, remaining in Olmos, right? Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>